The club have just announced today that they've changed the name to the uh, Sports Direct Arena rather than St James's Park. I mean, how significant is that and, and, and what are the reasons behind that that you say? Sports Direct Arena must be in America because I don't, I don't know of that stadium. All I know is St James's Park and uh, that's all I'll ever know. So it, it's basically for the fans, the fact that it'll be called a different name makes no real difference because it'll always be known as St James's Park to so the fans, won't it? can't take away your heritage. If you move to a new stadium, you can rename it. But if you're staying where you are, where you, where the club was born, it can it can be changed? It'll never be changed in the fans' eyes. Exactly, because I remember uh, Liverpool. I was speaking to Ian, uh, and he said, "Look, we, we can't rename Anfield while we're at Anfield. Yeah. If we move to a new stadium, then we'll rename it. Yeah. But we can't rename it while we're still here. I mean." Uh, I mean, this is a way to try and beat the recession by Derek and Mike, uh, by trying to bring in that investment. I think that they're looking at the Man City deal, basically, and thinking, well, hang on, wait, we can get a shirt sponsor and name the stadium. Uh, I mean... But Man City's was a new stadium, wasn't it? I know yeah, it had been yeah, there pretty, a couple yeah. of years, but it was still... It hadn't been through the club's history. It hadn't been there from day one, known as the same stadium. And everyone knowing that. And, uh, Listen, ultimately you understand why they do it, because, you know, to be in the Premier League you do need huge finances. But while you stay at the same stadium, and it's been known as that stadium since the club was formed, it should never be changed. And it, it will not, not I'll, I'll guarantee you, not one of those 52,000 will refer to that stadium as, as what's been mentioned today. They will refer it as St James's Park.